So we were just wrapping up getting all the baby clothes that we got from the baby shower organized and in two separate baggies so that I can wash them later. And um, I also went to the thrift store before this um, because I got off of work early. So showing you the, that and then transitioning over to making dinner. Just kind of whatever was in the fridge is for dinner today. Started off rushed because I almost forgot that we were filming what we do after work this week. So here I am just showing you how I'm going to cut up my zucchini and put it on the cast iron. And then my husband came home and he was hungry. And... I knew I was going to take a while, so I cut up an orange with some lemon juice on top and a sprinkle of chili powder, so you can see that too. Here I am cutting some mushrooms, then sampling them with bell pepper, cutting up my bread because I decided to make sandwiches. And I had some, I had made some pesto, so I mixed that with mayo, and that's going on her sandwich, along with some avocado, so the zucchini, the mushroom bell pepper, and some artichoke hearts. So here's the final result of the sandwich and paired it with chips and I started to make myself a sandwich and then I decided I only wanted an open face but then I decided that I wanted tacos because I like tacos better than sandwiches but my husband loves sandwiches. So here's how I made my tacos. Basically the same ingredients as a sandwich with addition to cilantro and lime and salsa and here's the final result of both our meals alrighty so after eating I decided that I wanted a milkshake but I was healthy and I, I it was with protein powder chocolate protein powder just disregard the chocolate and the marshmallows and the whipped cream but we ended up finishing the night off with a movie, and I hope you enjoy my day one because it was a pain in the butt to edit, so see you next day. Today is Monday, just finished work, and now I got to the gym. Um, but then I realized that I didn't bring my lock to lock up my stuff. And I usually change at the gym because I wear my work clothes and then I bring my gym clothes and then my gym shoes and my bag. So I didn't bring that. So then I really thought, I'm like, well, is this a sign that I shouldn't go? But then I'm like, no, I should go. And then it started raining. Look, I'm not hard. It started sprinkling. I'm like, is this another sign? But then I'm like, no, I should just go. So I, um, I put on my gym shirt here because then I felt weird like holding my stuff and putting it in there so I changed my shoes I'm gonna wear my work I mean they kind of look like yoga pants they're not like yoga pant material but I'm just gonna wear those and I'm just gonna bring my water bottle my keys and my earphones so oh and I and I didn't bring a hair tie so then I got a rubber band at work I'm just gonna hurt my hair when I pull it when I take it out later but yeah I'm gonna go to the gym I'll probably be done. It's like 5. It's almost 5.30 right now. So I'll probably be done at 6.30-ish. Probably. Most likely. So yeah, I'm going to go walk in right now. Okay, so I'm back from the gym. I got back a while ago. My hair's kind of crazy. A little frizzy. Um, I came back. I had dinner. I watched a little bit of Love Island. I have one episode left to the season finale kind of thing. Or like the winners. Um, but now that I relax and I'm almost about to go to sleep, um, I really need to put that away or do whatever. Yeah, put that away. 
kind of like organize my room a little bit because it's a little bit messy like yeah a little bit messy so i'm just gonna organize a little bit do my laundry um and get ready for bed um so yeah i think that's it for today I'm gonna try i'm gonna try to go to the ah i'm gonna try to go to the gym in the morning tomorrow because i kind of want to redo my nails tomorrow because like it's starting to lift from the bottom it's kind of like bugging me i feel like oh yeah i'm probably gonna do my nails tomorrow um yeah should we do a little um vote to see if i'm actually gonna who thinks i'm actually gonna wake up to go to gym in the morning i feel like so i usually do like an hour at the gym so i need to get there at like seven to finish at eight um so i probably have to leave here at 6 30. see now when I say 6.30, that seems like, that feels very early. I don't know. Maybe no. I don't know now anymore. We'll see. I'll keep thinking about it. Okay, if I go to bed at 10.30, then I'll go. So in an hour. Oh, we'll, I don't know. I'll see how I feel in the morning. Okay, that's it for today. Bye. Usually, after work, I come home feed my cat and then just take a quick nap and don't do anything but since i am recording i'll try to be more productive this week um yeah pho is on the menu today here is me trying to show you really quickly the roasting of the spices and some of the ingredients. I was talking to my sister via video call, so my videography was not on par today. But this is kind of how the pho ended up looking like. It was pretty okay. I wish I had the correct vegan beef base. I only had the veggie one, but it still turned out good. I did end up getting help with the videography as I was putting the pho together. And what was in it was some mushrooms from the Asian store. I don't know what they're called, but they're pretty good. Um, they had some carrots and broccoli. And I did end up buying some fried tofu. And I chopped up the... Thai basil because I like little bites in my soup. So, yeah. I ended up going to take a long shower. And when I came out, my husband was working on stuff. So I decided that I was going to take care of this huge bag of lemons. Um, so what I ended up doing was that I squeezed them and put them into little bags slash containers so that I can put them in the freezer. So that I can enjoy some lemonades for the summer. the end of day two for me okay so today is tuesday and i did not go to the gym today but <clears throat> it's because my car really needed an oil change and um my dad wasn't working today so then he told me he would drop me off so that um he would drop me off so he can do the oil change for me so i didn't really have a car so i didn't go Anyways, so I got home, um, ate dinner, relaxed for a bit, and now it's like 8, I think. We're gonna do my nails. That's all we have right now. 
Um, these are my Valentine's Day-ish nails. Um, see, they're kind of like... <clears throat> I think I focused. See, they're kind of like lifting from here, and then that just makes me want to peel it. So I'm going to redo these. Um, I'm thinking black and white flowers. I've done it before, and I really like them, so I think I'm just going to redo that, because the flowers don't really take that long to do. So, yeah, so it's it's like 8. Let me see exactly what time it is. I'm blind, so let me use my glasses. It is 8.02. So, I'm going to be, this is my little guess. I'm going to be done at 10. 10. Two hours. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to be watching a documentary, a Love, Stalker, and Killer. And it's over at one in one hour and 30 minutes so that's gonna be my goal to finish when i finish this and yeah okay so i take it back i'm gonna finish at 10 because i just finished prepping my nails where i took off um the old gel nail polish i had and then i refiled them and then i kind of buffed them and pushed back my cuticles this one's real weird. Um, it's now nine, and I have thirty minutes left of the documentary. Um, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna be finished in an hour, so ten. So I take that back. So now I'm gonna start. Um. So now, I'm gonna start painting them. I think I should be done in an hour. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how the end result comes. I feel like, um, this is the only one that's really short. And I was thinking if I should even it out with the other ones, but then I was like, nah. It'll grow eventually. It's a little weird. Okay, so I'll show you the end result in an hour. So it should be 10. Okay, so I finished doing my nails. I did black and white flowers, and I kind of did the, the opposite of what I did on this hand to this hand. Um, just for some little pizzazz, but it's a lot later than I thought it'd be done. It's 11. So it took me an hour to take off my nails, probably. And like take off and prep another hour to do the builder gel and like another hour to um to the flowers i don't feel like it took me that long but apparently it did but yeah that was my big plan for today um tomorrow i think i'm gonna go to the gym with um Giselle, so we'll see her tomorrow. And I think that'll be my big plan for tomorrow. Yeah. And then, oh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Then Thursday. Then Friday. Okay. Bye. Okay, I learned. So I did not feel a productive. I didn't feel the productivity on Monday, so after filming, I just took a nap and didn't do anything. But today is a different day, and it is Tuesday. And I, after work, I went to all these to pick up some groceries. Um, I picked up potatoes, which I'll be hopefully making today. Um, I picked up some chips, some avocados, and a bunch of junk food. Um, I also picked up this drink. It's the matcha green tea. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it is not my cup of tea. Um, it's not bad, it's just, I'm not a fan of green tea. I don't know why I got it, but it would be Yesenia's favorite. So I'll try to make her drink it this week and we'll film her reaction. Um, other than that, 
yeah that's that's all i have planned for today i don't really have anything specific planned um so yeah all right. okay so day three i guess i had dinner this day i don't have footage and i don't remember what i ate but um i did record the rest after dinner i guess because i spent some time working on my Bible study and just reading. And so I thought I'd share one of the verses that I'm holding on to right now. And it's Matthew 11, 28 through 30. It says, Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. Afterwards, I ended up going into the kitchen and making myself another healthy protein chocolate marshmallow whipped cream milkshake, and then went into the garage to organize this tower of what I intend to be kind of our supplies, like our craft supplies. So there's a, a bunch of things in here, scissors, color, colored pens, um, paper. And so I just start going through trying to get this organized so that we can get the garage in better shape. Then you are seeing me going back to the lemon juice that I had frozen the night prior and I ended up doing another batch to put in the freezer and I had extra lemon so I decided to make myself a salad dressing, the one that Yesenia showed me how to do and I just put it in a little jar that I had for um, my coconut drink, so. We're gonna, like, walk in it. We'll be on that okay, so me and Jasol just finished the gym. What's, what day is it today? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. 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 For, for an hour and 30 minutes? Yeah, about an hour and 30. We came with our sister, but now to reward our hard work at gym, we're gonna go to... Oh, oh, oh. We're, gonna, we're gonna walk, so it makes it better, but we're gonna walk over there. What color do you want? Blue. No, I said I wanted blue. Oh, sorry. Mm-mm, It's purple. What did, you, what did you get to sell? Huh? What did you get? A coffee French vanilla with boba. What you got? I got a green dragon iced tea. Bye, see you tomorrow. Are you gonna film tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye. That was that. Day four consisted of dinner and that was hot dogs with caramelized onions and tomato and avocado and a side of soup. My sister ended up coming over to help me wrap up that help of supplies. So we just took a sack to have some popcorn before we got started. Then I thought I'd show you how this tower ended up looking. Um, the bottom drawer consists of, again, just colors, paints, uh, canvases. Second drawer in Third row up are my husband's for some of the crafting he does with hot wheels and things like that. And then it goes into the scissors and the tape
then paper, notebooks, and then and some craft supplies, more craft supplies, and uh, an empty drawer on top. I'm not sure if I set these in order, but that's kind of all that's in here. Thursday, I just went to the gym and then I pretty much yeah, just went to bed. Hot dogs. I don't know if you can tell. I'm already eating it. Um, with like instead of the bread, it's like a bolillo. Um, they're really good. And then I'm also dog sitting. He's some. She's somewhere. So that's what I did for Thursday. And see you guys on Friday. Is Finally, day five, um, I got home and I made myself a snack of toast, um, pesto, vegan cheese, and tomato, and chile vinagre carrots. Um, I had that because we were having a friend over and we made um, some ravioli from scratch. So here is just some clips of me preparing the dough for the pasta and then me preparing the tofu ricotta with again some of the pesto that I had left over and it ended up being super good. Um, we'll definitely be doing it again. It wasn't too hard. Um, but then uh, yeah, that was it. We did that, watched a movie, and that was the end of the night. So, there you go. Five days after work for me. Hope you enjoyed. Bed. Okay, so on Friday when I was driving home, I saw that the moon was really big. And on TikTok, I've seen people like kind of doing photo, sh photo shoots with the moon. So then that's what I decided to do on Friday. Um, and then after that, we I went out for sushi with my family. Uh, we are at the park because I'm also babysitting. And I forgot to film on Friday. So I'll film twice today, I promise. Say hi, Gorilla. Say hi, Gorilla. Say hi. Say hi. Yes. I'm trying to take a picture of Cruella um, in like the field of flowers because they're so pretty. She's not letting me. So we'll see how how our little photo shoot goes. But right now she's tired, so hopefully I could get one. <laughs> Today is Sunday, so it's the last day. Um, I did something I promised myself I wouldn't do. So I started a new project. This is how it's going. Um, it's supposed to be a sweater and I found like the pattern on YouTube. Um, I'll see how it goes and then I'll, I'll try to link the YouTube I'm following. But I'm going to add this color and then this color on top. And then these are the bottom colors right now. 